One of my big projects for this past year was to learn a new instrument. And although I'm a drummer by trade, this was actually my very first time learning how to play a pitched instrument, if you don't count xylophone in high school. And with the help of a teacher, I was able to get from being a total beginner to playing some stuff that I really would not have imagined would be possible after only one year. Guiding me through this process has been Marcus Reuter, my teacher and also a very accomplished musician, having performed with many past and present members of King Crimson, Devin Townsend, and many, many others. And the instrument that I've been learning is one that Marcus actually designed himself called the touch guitar. I've had 27 years of study with this instrument. I think I have now come to a place where I can pass on the research data, let's say, in such a way that it will save people a decade or more. You can make a lot of progress in one year. So I basically began this year as a complete beginner, no experience really with guitar other than knowing a few chords. Um, you know, it was a struggle on day one and for a long time after that to even just play one note. Release. I think I maybe underestimated the physical aspect of the instrument. That's hard. <laughs> yeah, super hard. But I did keep making progress. Touch, release, move. Oh, yeah. Third finger, release, move. Took a long time to learn the basics. <sighs> no. Yeah, it takes yeah. my brain a second to think yeah, about it. Yeah. It's, it's difficult. We spent a lot of time in those early weeks focusing on technique, just the mechanics of moving the fingers around the guitar. Right. There's this sort of balance between the two fingers. As one gets heavier, let's say, mm -hmm. the other remains in place for a moment and then kind of like comes up. So it's, there's yeah. a little bit of a lag. Also, the guitar makes no sense with where the notes are. And then C. Yeah. There's no shortcut to it. You just have to deal with it. Ah. And eventually it gets easier. Ionian on this string, mm -hmm. A, Aeolian on this string, and F Lydian on this string. I mean, it took me maybe a month just to learn to play my first scale. <laughs> Later on, the focus became more musical. Very nice, nice tone, nice vibrato, oh, really great, great, awesome. Very, very nice. You see, so this this already was making music. Yeah. Just imagine, like all you would have to do is do this every day. Right. And you will learn the instrument, you will learn where the notes are, you will learn to play faster. Throughout the whole process, I would make a point to just play around on in the instrument. Just improvise, just make sounds and see what happens. Music would highlight the things that were lacking in my technique, which would inform the next batch of exercises. And then I would learn another piece. It's just this kind of constant cycle. I think I learned the most from learning pieces and like focusing on them in a serious way. So there was this Bach piece that I learned that was like the first one that I did. because it got me out of exercise mode and it finally gave me something that I could show other people. But I think maybe the one that I feel most satisfied and proud of is the Guthrie Govan tune that I learned. I 
did not think I would be learning Guthrie Govan stuff. And granted, this is on the easier side of the stuff that he plays, like I can't even begin to comprehend the solos or anything like that. But just the idea of like, wow, on day one, I couldn't even play one note right. And then here on month 12, I'm playing Guthrie Govan. The best part about this, or maybe the worst part, depending on how you want to spin it, is that I really didn't practice that much. Towards the middle of the year, I got very, very busy. Touring opened up again, live shows started happening, which is awesome, and I'm very, very grateful for that. And that meant that I had several months where I just didn't practice at all. The reality is I practiced roughly somewhere between 250 to 300 hours for the whole year. That's less than an hour a day for less than a year. On one hand, I would love to see what would happen if I practiced guitar for eight hours a day, but I think it actually drives home the point even more that I didn't spend a lot of time on it and I still made progress. I was a little bit afraid to start this project. I think I was more afraid to announce it publicly than I was to actually do it. And I'm not scared about making mistakes on camera. Um, that doesn't bother me because first of all, I'm gonna get better. Like you have to go through the process of making mistakes before you can get good. Everybody starts off sounding bad. They might not show you the videos where that was the case, but everyone starts off not being very good. And so I'm not ashamed to show that because it's, it's about the journey. It's not to deny that stuff is hard. <laughs> you know, it's really hard to get good at something and that's why we appreciate it when somebody has done it. But I do think that there are not shortcuts, but there's definitely a lot that you can do in not a lot of time if you approach it the right way. I don't want to sugarcoat it too much because it is still hard work. Like this whole year, I've been talking about how great and amazing it was which it was, but it was also really difficult. I mean, it, it is not easy for me to pick up these techniques and it's very frustrating at times. But like I've said a million times in this video, the possibilities are greater than you think. But if you never stop to think, well, what if, what if? So I would encourage you to ask yourself that question and see where it leads. I want to give a giant thank you to Marcus. There's no question that his teaching saved me months, maybe even years of practicing. So if you're at all interested in these techniques, definitely get in touch with Marcus. I also want to mention that Marcus and I went into the studio earlier this year and recorded five albums worth of improvised music. So that is available under the name Anchor and Burden. I'll put a link below. Finally, if you'd like to get your hands on a touch guitar, this one that I got back here is the U8 model. So I'll link to that as well below. Thanks again to Marcus and thanks to Touch Guitars. Thanks for watching. Good luck and happy new year and talk to you soon.